Okay, our potatoes, uh, we have in the pot, we have fingerling potatoes. So we uh, just put water and potatoes and salt uh, in the pot. Uh, these have been boiling out for five minutes and they're done. That's all you need. Once these come to a rapid boil, let's turn it off and cover and let it simmer. These potatoes will be perfect. As you can see here, this is the size of potato that we're looking for for, uh, for this particular dish. All right, these are our fingerlings and these are done. They're perfect. We're going to turn this off. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is prepare our uh, potatoes and string beans. So in order to do that, we're going to need garlic. I have six cloves of garlic here. So we're just going to uh, mash these a little bit, just like that. And we're just going to give these a rough chop, okay? Just a nice rough chop, okay? Not too fine. A few little chunks in this dish I find is, uh, is very tasty. So, all right, so now that we have those chopped, we're going to uh, go into our skillet with our, our potatoes and the string beans. Okay, so now we have our skillet on medium and we wanna go in with approximately uh, three tablespoons of olive oil. All right, so it should be nice and hot enough to uh, apply our garlic. Now, when applying garlic to a skillet or a pan, you do not want to uh, have your flame too high. So medium to medium high is uh, the optimal temperature for toasting the garlic. What we want to do right now is we want to let this toast just a little bit. So we're going to move these around in our skillet just a little bit. Now we want to go in with our potatoes. Now these potatoes have already been parboiled, uh, which means that they're boiled halfway already. And so we're not trying to cook these, we're just trying to add or infuse flavor into our potatoes. So we're going to go in with our fingerling potatoes. And now we want to go in with our string beans. All right, so just put those right on top, just like that. Now uh, let's put them all in. Okay. We want to add salt. I'm using sea salt to season our dish. All right, that's enough. All right, and also I like to use, <clears throat> sometimes I use black pepper, cracked black pepper, but for this particular dish, I like to use crushed red pepper flakes. All right, give it a little kick. Not much, it just adds a little something at the end uh, that's a nice surprise. All right, so I just want to uh, toss these around a little bit. So we're going to let these go. We're going to cover them and let them go for about five minutes. Now we're going to keep the pan moving a little bit at this stage so that the garlic does not burn. Okay? Now let's reduce our flame or our cook temperature to medium low. Cover it. Let this go for five minutes. And when we come back, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, our string beans and potatoes have been cooking now for about three minutes. We want to uh, make sure that we move these around. Keep your skillet moving, okay? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? These are going to be absolutely delicious. All right, we're going to cover these and let these go for another two to three minutes, and then we're going to plate our dish. Okay, first let's go on with our green beans and potatoes. Alright, let's put uh, a few potatoes in just like this. Green beans. Now I've added a little more color uh, to the plate 
by adding uh, red bell peppers uh, to the uh, spring beans and potatoes. Okay, so we had a little color just like that. And let's put a few of these around the edge, just like this. And let's put another one down like that. Okay. Now let's uh, arrange the dish with our chicken. Just like that. Okay. 